Hello, everybody. Anime reflux. Woo. Uh, Woo. This anime is fucking weird. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, it's it's. So there's an episode zero to this that I no watched, cares. and that was really weird. And then episode one was like, oh, now things are contextualized slightly for how weird this is. Yeah. Episode zero is not episode one. It doesn't count. That's not that's, that's not the show zero. That's not that's not what I still we do. Watched both. That's not what we do. Yeah. Um. Try hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. <laughs> I'm not taking it back. Yeah. I don't expect okay. you to. Okay. So, yeah, this show is weird, visually and conceptually. And the plot kind of just sort of goes and doesn't really let you get your bearings at any point. So the synopsis is going to be a little more brief for what happens. And then probably after that, we're just going to call out moments and things we really liked about it and stuff. And just do it that way instead of, you know, calling them out as we get to them in the summary. Uh, Okay, so basically there's this priest named Yoe who draws moving pictures. Oh, you got names, one. thank God. Well, he draws pictures that come to life, not moving yes. pictures. That's how he describes it, was moving pictures. Um, yeah, okay, but that could be confused as animation. Can I, so. can I stop right there? Mm-hmm. When, that, when he first said, oh, it's just moving pictures, I was like, this dude made movies and... Okay, so it's about a guy that made movies first, and now he's being called... <laughs> I didn't yeah. know what it was at first. That's what I thought yeah. it was. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like he has this dog, which is a nice dog, and also this rabbit that he drew, this black rabbit. Yeah, and he lives in the mountains because people think he's fucking weird and just want him to leave. Just not bother them. That's sad. Yeah, kind of. He doesn't seem to mind, honestly. Yeah. Isolation seems to suit him well. Uh, yeah. Black rabbit that he drew to life kind of likes him and so uh god or whatever goddess buddha thing is like hey i'll give you my body because that way you can help him not be so alone and kind of shift his path in life and the reverend's like no 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 okay fine yeah so now you could say she's a oh god rabbit no. Rabbit. We're not doing that today. It's it's <laughs> accurate though. I mean There's technically nothing. speaking, I guess this you're has... right. She's not she's not a rabbit. She's a human. Technically. <laughs> yes. So... Actually, yeah, you're right. Hmm. So yeah, this is gonna be a thing. This is the hey, thing now. Yeah. Hey, so... all of you guys for making this a thing. <laughs> so spending time with her, eventually he starts to fall for her. And they get kids, two of which are just drawn to life. Uh, one yeah, of which he, is they adopt kid. one kid and they decide, hey, he should have a brother and sister. So they draw them and make ones. Yeah, one of which is like a, a demon girl and the other is like a boy with that has some serious Brock syndrome. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what Brock Syndrome is... Technically, it's called Youngblood Syndrome, but sure. It's when characters' eyes are always closed. Yeah. Um, Also, there's, like, a big deal made out of um, the rabbit trying to get him to fall in love with it. My God, that show's weird. Um, It feels like a... Like this is something that you you would see in like a like a folk tale. Type. Yeah, that's kind of the thing they're going for. Yeah, a that folk that's tale, the, that's tale. the sort of tone they're going for. So it's fine. Mm. It um, works. Yeah. If you know, we probably don't get a lot of the references and such the cultural overtones as expected, but yeah. You know. Um. Yeah. So they have kids and. Uh, the priestly people that he technically works for, kind of, uh, are getting pissy about him and just want him and want him to stop doing whatever the hell he's doing with the drawings. You're kind of, you're kind of making it like 
you're you're creating life and it's getting kind of really weird. You might want to just go. Yeah. How do they even know this? Like, are they being so loud that people all the way in town can hear them? Yeah, this is after they move to the mountains, so it's a little... It's not I, important. It's a folk tale. Who cares? It's details. Yeah. Um, so they decide to escape to a life in the painted world, let's call it. Uh, yeah, the world in the looking glass. Alice in Wonderland reference for you. Um, and they're like, yeah, this looks... Should we just call this Kyoto 2? Yeah, this is Kyoto as well, I guess. Could you at least spell it differently? No. Um, <laughs> that was funny. So they enter into this this fantastical world where since everything was originally a painting, uh, everything you break repairs itself. Nobody is born, nobody dies. It's a kind of an eternal place. Yeah, technically speaking, you could call it an eternal paradise, which is interesting and basically plays on the, you know, tried and true thought process of, okay, if everything's perfect forever, then eventually you'll get bored of it. Yeah, and one of the kids is thinking, this place doesn't seem like, it's not like I don't like it, it's just, it's everything I want actual human that yeah. says this yeah it's yeah the, the human actual one. human yeah. which you know everything you want isn't necessarily everything you need yeah so uh one of the drawn children theorizes that he's dissatisfied with the lack of dis- dissatisfaction yeah because you know any way you want it that is the way you need it <laughs> any way you want it yeah, that's what you need. I don't know the rest of the words to that song. So all night. All night. Anyway. Anyway. So. Uh, so. Um, one night, uh, the human uh, admits to Mioe, the priest, that yeah, she's only borrowing this body. She was supposed to give it back once the priest falls in love with her, but she, you know, got selfish and said, just one more day. I'll, I'll, I'll give it back tomorrow because, yeah. you know, we have the kids and everything and I don't want to I don't want to go back to being a rabbit. But she has to go, so she does. And the priest follows after her. And it's promises just, the kids to you. bring back uh, their mom. Uh, yeah. yeah, their mom Koto. Yeah. The... Wait, I thought he promised to bring back the end and the beginning. Whatever oh, that means. That yes. different... Whatever that. I that's don't... probably a cultural thing. Yeah. Um. He, he basically says, "You know, be back later. Bye bye." Yeah. Um, and so... Time skip. Time skip. That they the... don't really make any indication of, so I was very confused when there's, like, the human kid's name, basically, he basically changes his name to Mioe as well, and he looks very uh, similar, so I didn't notice. See, when I watched episode zero, it started out with all of them grown up like that, so this was like a backstory thing for me. Um, zero is intensely focused on zero. Yeah, we noticed. But, but so he's now called Mioe, but nobody really knows why he's now Mioe. Is the implication I believe of just suddenly he was Mioe. He's with his trying kid. to take his dad's place, kind of thing. I think is the implication. Yeah, it's like and... it's like in high school when you've been called Jim your whole life and you try to change your name to Brian or some shit. Yeah, and the kids' bodies have been updated, uh, except for, um, like, the rest of the world around them is not really, like, sometimes there'll be new things, sometimes not, but most things don't change in this world, except for the kids. Hmm. So, new Mioe is uh, 
kind of frustrated with having to deal with the crap of quote unquote running the let's call it Kyoto for the sake of simplicity um, mm-hmm. because it doesn't really matter this is my understanding of it not actually mentioned in the show but it doesn't really matter because nothing breaks nothing needs fixing it doesn't matter at all um, so he throws his phone away because they have phones that was a interesting anyway uh <laughs> yeah like i said new things are getting added and things are changing yeah but like not everything so it's so, in a weird place he throws away his phone and gets the dog to fetch it uh so that he has some time away from such responsibilities and hangs out with a woman who he is sort of romantically involved with but still kind of distant uh and he takes a nap Wakes up and everything's gone to shit. Big lightning storm of rainbows and everything. God, the uh, show is gorgeous. And yeah, it, yeah, I was watching it on Crunchyroll, uh, so I was getting like the 1080p version, which just if you're gonna watch it, you might as well go for as high quality as you can because it is a really beautiful show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and. Uh. So he runs and he's like, okay, I recognize this thing. This is kind of similar to when dad disappeared. Is dad coming back? Yeah, so he runs off to the big tower place that exists in the town. Um, Gets to the center of what's happening and a girl appears. Yeah. And Uh, she has a hammer and two little spirit buddy dudes. There was a, a a bit at the beginning that we missed where yeah, we did. it was yeah. her talking to her quote unquote sensei, which I don't know if that's like like how far it's if that's a teacher or a doctor or something type of person. Was it a different uh, person? It might have just been a flash forward. No, it was a flash. No, it's a different person. Okay. Um, and that person gave her this kind of sphere that had all these different colors in it which looks like the hammer that she now wields Hmm. Um, as she basically crashes in is like okay so what plane are we on where is this place I'm with the shrine yeah so I get the feeling this is going to get into some uh, I think it's Buddhist uh, six realms kind of thing going on there's a lot of Buddhism in this show so I would them so that's gonna be a thing to try and wrap your head around when you don't actually know a a super large amount about buddhism but god this show is gorgeous Mm -hmm. it's super pretty and so the girl's name is kodo which is oddly enough the name of the 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 mother human. human rabbit mother it's not a thing. It's a thing. And so he's he's all confused, and what I'm thinking is there's going to be a whole thing about, oh, rebirth and whatnot. Mm. Uh, but, yeah. That's kind of where it ends. It's like, normally people don't get to this particular area, uh, so the fact that you got here at all is really confusing. Mm. I hope him taking the name Mioe isn't representative of this because then we get into some kind of reincarnation incest thing and that's kind of weird. Uh, from what I from what I saw of episode zero which is gives you a bit more because I'm going to keep going back to that it's more like he kind of takes her in and kind of like takes care of her while she's there like kind of more of a, a guardian type role. Okay. Rather than any sort of weird relationship thing. Yeah. That would be weird. But Japan, so I kind of expect it anyway. Hmm. Anyway. I think I think the person she was talking to in the beginning is probably like the reincarnated Mioe. <clears throat> so there's probably the, that thing going on or something. I don't know. Yeah, so this show is gorgeous. I don't know whether I said that. Did I say that already? A few times. times. Once or twice. So, yeah, there's an odd 
stylization to it that you like. Hmm. It's hard to explain. When was the show made? Because that's probably important. Uh, I can go check right now. Uh, it was made back in 2013. Yeah. It does not look it, but in a good way. Like, it, it looks a lo- like very classical animation style. But also it's like a lot of bombastic colors. Yeah. And that sequence where um, original Mioe and original Koto, I guess, because that's not going to get confusing, um, when they sort of become romantically inclined and the, there's a lot of very nice spinning animation. I was kind of just expecting a very simple twirl of Sakuga animation and it just dips her and then they have a conversation in that pose for a while. But no, it just kind of keeps going. And oh, it was pretty. It was so pretty. It's and a the, very pretty show. And then there was the sequence when they're in the spirit world and it shows what the spirit world is like and it's got all the weird design like spirits and stuff and oh i saw i saw i saw a a bird man in in a tuxedo at one point as a background character so So why exactly was it whenever shows have this art style because there are money there are quite a few actually they make no fucking sense they all have similarly baffling plots because it's it's a lot more focused on a Japanese style of storytelling with Japanese cultural overtones. That which means point. we will not get it more often than not. <laughs> I imagine that once more of the show is watched, it'll make more sense. Mm. But based on episode one, it's it's very confusing. Yeah. Like, things... Like, you know... The shows that the West generally gets are the ones that are designed to be easy to digest, but also ones that have been heavier inspired by Western culture and animation and storytelling tropes, which you know was a big thing when anime was getting off the ground. So this sort of thing is taking it in the other direction, appropriating that particular an- animation style for the sake of Japanese storytelling and tropes, which are harder for us to get <laughs> by quite a margin. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on this show? Because I personally liked it and would have no problem watching more of it. Likewise. I mean, I was confused, but I wouldn't mind going back to clarify the confusion. And like you said, it's gorgeous. Oh god, it's gorgeous. I've I've watched enough ep- anime that are confusing to know that sometimes they just don't get any less confusing. So, no. Wait a second, I'm... I just realized something. I'm this is a show. this this show is a beautiful piece of art, and it's confusing. So it's abstract art. <laughs> yes. Essentially. Um, I I think. I I think I'd be willing to give it a, a shot. Um, so I'll probably watch the whole thing later, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I could appreciate it for what it was, but I didn't really like it. I like the weird stuff, so that's kind of... Eh. The more confusing it is sometimes... Like, if something's confusing and I have the feeling that it'll be explained, then I'll watch it. And I watched episode zero, so... That's kind of where my point of view comes from. I feel like things will make sense. Because, yeah. I feel like I should want to watch more of this. But you don't. Like, in an educational sense, I should want to for the sake of, hey, this is... A storytelling t- style that I'm not overly familiar with, and it would be good to educate myself in such. And oh god, it's gorgeous! So it would kind of be worth it on those grounds. But oh, this this is something I would have to be in a very specific mood to want to watch. 
Like, I feel like being inspired and educated today kind of mood. Let's learn something new. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's roll a new one then. Very well. Got the list ready. And I just finished checking the GoGo anime page. There's another Q entry, but it looks like it's just the second season of Kwanzi Fashi, so. Oh, that started. Mm. That's. Wait, which one was Kwanzi? No, I'm thinking of Kwanzi Gacho. Yeah. That's a different one. All right, here we Kwanji go. Fashi was the shit one. That was shit. And my body. Um, ten. Ten. That's J. J. Right next to K. Twenty-one. It's not a lot. Black right, uh, You got twenty-one. I got twenty-two. All right. Uh, unlucky number thirteen. This is gonna 13. be terrible. Huh. We've already done this one. Castle, Town, Dandelion. Was it terrible? I don't even remember what that is. You watched the, the Japanese name because I can't find it in J on the Castle Town. Jokamachi no Dandelion. Uh, oh, yeah, we watched this. Yeah. yeah. So it roll again. Which one was that one? Actually, you huh. know what? Oh, yeah, I did we did watch this. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, um... So that must have been one I missed. I don't remember that one. So knock it down to 20? No, knock it down to 15, actually. Okay. We've done most of the ones on the list already. As long as I gotta watch Duel Well, Pink. not most. Far oh, before. the one about the siblings fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. That one was weird. So we have 15 options all together. Alrighty then. So at 15, we get. This is gonna be awful. Two. Jikan no Shihaisha. Translation, Kronos Ruler. Okay. Uh, Jikan no Shihaisha. Um, like many in her class, Kyo Koyuki Honda looks forward to her graduation ceremony. However, mm. while her peers have family to attend, Kyoki, uh, Koyuki has no one as her only family, her brother, died years ago. While visiting his grave, she meets two brothers named Kiri and Victor Putin chasing a strange creature. Okay, let me, let me save us some time. The story centers on Kronos' rule is those who fight the time-eating demons that appear when people wish they could turn back time. There you go. <laughs> what the hell were Zero reading? I, was I don't know. My anime list. Uh, Why? Sorry. That gives us a full plot summation. We want, like, the short, brief one that just tells us what the show is. Victor okay. Putin. Also, Chikan just means time, so I feel like the uh, translations are being a little bit um, ostentatious. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah, looking at the list again, that was... didn't have translation written next to it, so that's just the English name. Not necessarily. Um, I, I'm looking at some of the reviews for this. One person gave it a two. Another person gave it a four. The person gave it a three. I look forward to this. All right. So, unless Kenji vetoes, then it's Kronos Ruler. Uh, I'm not vetoing anything. I feel like this is going to be trash, push, whatever. I want trash. Give me more trash. It, it looks like it might be a little bit meme trash if it was more popular, but it's not. Hmm. Kenji, I thought that trash was the only thing you cared about vetoing. I mean, I like trash that's like a complete train wreck. Like, why am I watching this show? Oh, oh God. Oh, bear with me. Uh, someone needs to check the first episode because according to one of the comments, it's only in raw. It does not have subtitles. Mm -hmm. um, well, hold on. I am looking right now. Give me a moment. So what do we got? There's subtitles. Yeah, there's, there's yep. a whole Crunchyroll version that has subtitles, so... Okay, must be an old comment. <coughs> cool beans. Trolls. No, that's, it's a very new show. It was 2017, so it's just... Ah, so it might have been changed since then. Fair yeah. enough. Can I get a, a link? By the way? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or rather, it wouldn't be posted here. So I yeah, I, like I don't even know if that if that summary I was reading was actually for this show. <laughs> it probably doesn't. I don't know. It, I'm so confused. I, 
I that's the one that was on the my animus uh, my anime list page. So I mean, I wouldn't was... be surprised. The whole what was the summary that we just read? People wish that they could change the past, and so when she's visiting her brother's grave. Yeah. Those two show up. I am, I am looking through it, and there are similar names. There is a Victor, so the last name is probably still Putin. Okay. That's all you wanted. <laughs> so, yeah. while this premise is kind of sucky, like, okay, anyone feeling regret essentially is creating demons. Wow, that's a fight that we're going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically everybody. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't matter how bad a premise is. It matters how good the execution is. I suppose. I mean, it's... Yeah, but... It's probably just an excuse plot for the sake of the moral that they want to tell, which is, I presume, keep moving forward. But we'll get into that when we do the episode, I guess. If they mention the midnight hour, I'm gonna lose my shit. This is fucking persona. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. No. Um, if you make a you. wish under the clock tower at midnight during a full moon, time will turn back. Zero. Shut up. We don't need to know this yet. <laughs> it's persona. Congratulations. No, it's not. But sure. Uh, yeah. Everything's so. persona. If you think about it hard enough. Yeah, we do the thing next week. Chronos Breakers or Rulers. Rulers, whatever. You gotta rule the Chronos. Time Chronos, Kings. Chronos Trigger. <laughs> Time King sounds better. It does, actually, yes. It's less try hard. Time Quad. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for listening, everybody. See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs> bye. See Patient guys. just ends us off. Okay, mm. bye. Don't end my shenanigans. Yeah, that's my job, so the recording goes until I say otherwise. So, yeah. Hmm. What were your shenanigans again, Ken? I don't know. That was all I had. Really? Yeah. Let's go rule those chronos. You know, I also started playing Chrono Trigger again (laughs) yesterday. Funny turn. Anyway, bye, everybody. Bye. See ya.